Welcome to this 25 minute mat Pilates workout using a large exercise ball. This is an amazing full body workout with a little extra challenge and awareness because we're going to be using an unstable surface. This class was inspired by a lot of questions that I recently got asked within the Trifecta Pilates membership and app where we moved with the full length Pilates ball workout. And afterwards, people had some nitty gritty questions about where exactly is the arm placement or leg placement on the ball so that I can actually feel confident with using the ball. It feels more comfortable and it feels like I can move. So during this class, we're gonna alternate be between having a nice Pilates flow and also slowing down some exercises and the setup of them so you can get in just the right position with you explore that a little bit more. My number one tip is just make sure your ball is inflated enough. If it has a lot of squish, it's gonna make the class even more challenging than it has to be. So if you're ready to get started with this session, join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin laying onto your back on the mat, feet onto the ball. And as you're on your back, just find a comfortable position. Make any wiggles or adjustments needed so you're sensing just nice heavy weight with head, shoulders, back, pelvis. We're not forcing anything. You're just sensing, can you get even more comfortable? Taking deep breaths here. And as you're getting into the rhythm of your breath, inhaling and exhaling, Bring heels together, let the balls of the feet be on the ball, heels lifted and together. So you're in a small diamond shaped here. And as you continue breathing, take the legs away and pull back in. Notice just the rhythm of your breath and sync movement to breath. Maybe you wanna inhale, push the ball away and exhale, pull in. Or maybe the opposite breathing pattern would be nice for you. So focus on the rhythm of breathing that feels just most intuitive here. Follow that. This is just our awareness and warm up phase. So important, especially when moving with an unstable surface like the ball. Keep thighs into chest next time. Squeeze legs together and push the ball away, flex through the feet, and then pull back in and point. So we push away, flex and point. When legs go the straight, toes reach to nose, then pull back in, knees to nose. The rest of the body trying to stay really still. And we keep this leg movement on ball with one thigh, opposite knee pulls in towards us and push away, free leg to ceiling, pull back in. So just a single leg option here. Continue with your same leg. And even though we're single legs, still trying to sense pelvis nice and stable and still. Another time and switch sides. If it ever feels like your ball is getting farther and farther away from you, just pull it in a little bit more, reset and then continue. Another time here, both shoulders stay heavy on the mat, feet on the ball, but relatively light, legs squeezing together, small rotation to one side with pelvis, and then coming back to center and switch sides. So really light with feet on the ball, and no matter what way the legs are moving towards, trying to sense equal weight along the shoulders, We're just gonna do one more time each side. And next time you come center, stay there. Legs stay parallel, just separate the feet and knees so they're no longer touching. And curl pelvis and spine up, trying to keep the ball as still as possible as we come up. And then lowering right back down again. Take your time with this one. So we're trying to press evenly along shoulders, arms, and feet. Notice how the ball, you may become more aware of little adjustments. 
the slower we go, maybe the more stable we can become. Not by forcing anything, but just letting our body take time to learn from the feedback from the ball. And we'll do two more times here. And next time you curl up, your last time, let's stay up. Take a few breaths in this up position. You can stay here completely still with body or push the ball away, pull back in, push away and in regardless, pelvis staying nice and stable as smooth as possible as we're rolling away and in with ball. Another time, very nice rolling spine back down. And now bring yourself up to a seated position. Legs come outside of the ball, hands on top of it. Breath out, bend spine forward. And then rolling back up again. So a nice stretch for body helping us prepare for the next exercise as well. Heels stay active and pressing down to mat. Last one. Very nice. Now take hold of the ball in hands, squeeze legs together, stretch your spine forward. So reach, reach forward, heels stay down, reverse roll down, just part way, keeping heels nice and heavy and then roll forward once again. And repeat that, reverse, roll down, just part way, rolling forward. So we can keep this part way roll down or roll all the way down, so you're laying on your back, ball just to ceiling, and then roll all the way forward. Now stack the spine, reach ball and arms to ceiling, roll forward, reverse, roll down, so we're just Adding on a little bit here. Rolling down last time. And rolling up. Staying up. Open the legs outside your mat. Rotate spine. Come center, second side. Keep pressing evenly along heels. And sense spine. Crown of head, reach up to ball. One more time each side. Very nice. Bring legs together just for a moment. Bend through the knees. Reverse, roll yourself down. Legs up to ceiling. And press legs onto ball. So you're squeezing it on ball with legs, arms by your side. Press a little bit deeper. Release. Press a little bit deeper. Release. You can keep the exercise right here or press deeper, reach the legs forward, up and release a little bit. Press, reach. Now, this is a beautiful option to stay with. If rollover is in your practice, you may want to roll over, keep pressing it on ball, roll down. So move with the variation that's just right for you today. One more time through. Very nice. Arms come up to ceiling, legs stay up. Low curl up and down, low curl up. Now let's stay curled up, hands come behind the head, legs reach forward and up. Trying to stay really still in upper body as legs reaching forward and up. Two, one last time, one, very nice, take hold of the ball and let's come on knees on the mat. I wanna be more towards the back edge of your mat Tuck through the toes, so strong toe tuck. And roll away, we're pivoting forward. Coming right back up again. And roll away, pivot forward. 
Now, how far you go forward depends on shoulders, how much you can stay in your strong plank, even as you're pivoting forward. So it's personal. Two more times. Very nice. We're going to roll the ball close towards us, very back edge of the mat, laying over the ball just for a moment. Hands come down, walk away. You'll walk away until the feet lift off of the mat, thighs on the ball. You're in a strong plank position supported by ball. Take some breath here. And if you'd like to move it, we push up. We go bend the elbows to straight. Now as the arms bend, the legs will lift up. Our body is like a teeter-totter. So one part goes down, the opposite lifts. Let's do two more times. Arms stay straight. You maintain stable plank or breathe out, pull thighs in towards you, bending knees, and return. Exhale, pull in, return. Now really sense, where does this work begin from? Center to pull in, and return. Almost there. And one last time. Very nice. Slowly roll back to where we began, hands on the ball. Reset, tuck through your toes. And now we'll keep our feet down on the floor, knees down. Abdomen goes over the ball, fingers reach to floor. Pull shoulders, arms back and start to lift spine up. Lowering back down. Deep breathing. So back work just as important, if not more so than abs. Now staying up, arms open, reach back, lowering down. Lift shoulders, arms back, arms open, reach and lower. Let's do another time here. Now we'll stay up, arms reach back, arms open. Arms reach and open. Hands on the ball, arms supported position, press up, just maybe a bigger lift with your spine until you come all the way off the ball. Very nice. Face the long edge of your mat now. One leg straight, opposite hand down, you may be able to go full hand down for me with my ball today, it's just fingertips. Free hand behind head, long leg lift and down. Long leg up and down. Now as we're lifting leg, trying to keep upper body just at ease, don't have to hold a lot of extra tension. One last time. Toes stay on your mat, bend the knee so the foot drags forward and go into lift and down. So bent leg up and down, still trying to stay relatively stable on ball. Keep thigh lifted, reach leg back, keep it back. Leg goes straight once again, lower and lift. So it's back to the straight leg up and down, just leg is a little bit behind us now. Two and one, very nice. Bring yourself up, switch sides. So set up second side, get as comfortable as you can on the ball here. Free hand can go behind the head, leg long and strong to lift. Just really trying to isolate the movement to leg up to down. Another time, pause, pull the thigh in, and once again, we go lift 
and lift. Sometimes we want to rock back or pull in to lift the leg. Try to stay a little bit more still, continuing to isolate the movement, even if it becomes more challenging. Keep leg lifted, reach thigh back, take it to straighter, lower and up. We are almost done with the side series. So challenging. Two, very nice last one. Bring yourself up. The ball is going to stay behind us now. One foot on top of the ball, and it's more the ankle foot, so shin to ankle on top of the ball here. Hands press down evenly onto the mat, and pressing down evenly with hands, strong, long leg. Can we hover the opposite knee and then lower down? Go for that little hover. It may just be the intention to hover today. Another time. Whatever leg is on the ball, take the opposite hand to the center of the mat and slowly rotate to the ball. Take your time. Your body has to get used to this. Tuck your back toes. Feeling stable, making any adjustments as needed. Free arm reaches and return. Free arm reaches. You may notice the ball is swaying a little bit. That's okay. Very nice. Slowly with control, rotate yourself back. Reset both hands underneath. Now we go back to those little hovers. Hover, hover, or take the opposite leg up on top of the ball so you're in your plank. Take three more deep breaths, no matter what option you're choosing. After your three deep breaths, Take one knee down and the opposite. Whoo, thank goodness. And we're going to switch sides. So opposite foot, more towards the shin and ankle rather than just the foot. Both hands underneath you. Now you know where we're headed. Your next breath out, little hover. Little hover. Make any adjustments as needed. Another time, very nice. Opposite hand to the center, rotate to ball side. Once you feel stable, tuck back toes, that will help stability. Free arm reaches. Deep breathing. It's not uncommon that one side feels a little bit easier compared to another. So if you're noticing imbalances, that's normal. Come back to this class, you'll smooth them out. And then coming back to center, take your time. Now you know where we're headed. Feeling stable is more important than rushing into the movement. So make any adjustments so you have that right now. We go back into thigh lift or going into plank. No matter your option, take a few more deep breaths here. And after your third deep breath, slowly lower knee down, opposite leg joins and coming to a kneeling position. Arms reach in front of you. Arms lift up as we lower down, come right back up. So I like to think that your seat muscles, glutes, buttocks, whatever you wanna call them, there's an elevator there lifting you right back up again. We are on the home stretch of the class. Two more times, two, one last time, one, very nice. Now we're gonna have a seat on the ball. Then all this work down on the mat. Let's end seated on the ball. Reach your arms in front of you. Spine lengthens, head stays right where it is and curl just the pelvis and return. 
So pelvis and low spine move, but we're trying to stay lengthened. Pressing evenly into feet here. Now we can make this a little bit bigger where we keep rolling the ball forward. Keep feet still for right now. Go back as far as you can. Maybe low spine taps on the ball, maybe not. And then coming back up again. So it starts low with that curl underneath. Keep curling, curling, curling. And rolling right back up. Really sense feet stable and anchored down. And you can stay with this option or we may want to explore rolling down, walking the feet away, perhaps a step and giving yourself a supported spine extension. You can find a place on the ball that feels just right. Then we circle the arms and then roll back up once again. So we're more kind of to the edge of the ball and then we roll back. So slow pace, staying stable is more important than going quick or even doing the full expression. Maybe as you come back to this class, you'll go to this bigger range of motion, another session but it's not your jam today. And one last time here. And allow yourself to roll up. You may have to walk the feet closer towards you just a little bit. Have your hands now cup the ball. So hands cupping the ball doing just a little bit of balance work. Lift one leg and opposite. Go on a little walk. If you want, you can swing the arms in opposition. There we go, opposition. Imagine just going on a walk, but we're staying stable, pretty stable with pelvis. So we're trying not to do a big ball shift, a little bit more quiet on the ball. Very nice, both feet down, arms reach, inhale, exhale. Arms reach, inhale, exhale. Now with control, arms reach and exhale. Push yourself up to standing position. We're not gonna sit back down because that ball is squirrely. Take another deep breath for yourself here and be so proud of yourself for showing up for that session. Hopefully feeling so much better in body even with those extra challenges because of the ball. If you enjoyed this class, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I would encourage you to check out the Trifecta Pilates membership and app where there's more classes like this to support your at-home Pilates practice. I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.